everybody and welcome to Storytime with me, Miss G. I am here at the Felicita Library bringing you some wonderful stories this week. This week is actually very special to me. It is one of my most special weeks of the whole year because it is, it is National Library Week. And today is National Librarian Day. And that's me. That's my job. I'm a librarian. I think it is the best job in the whole world. There are so many things us librarians can do. So many jobs we have to get done all throughout the day. So many things that we can help students and different guests to the library with. And it is just seriously the best job in the whole world. And we are gonna explore all the ins and outs of libraries and the job of being a librarian today in our nonfiction story called, Check It Out, the book about libraries. I love libraries, you guys. Even if it's not my library, I love to visit other libraries. I love to check out books. I love it when you guys check out books. Man, it is just the best thing ever. So grab a cozy seat and get ready, cause here we go. <laughs> Check it out, the book about libraries by Gail Gibbons. There are small libraries, And there are big libraries. The biggest library in the United States is the Library of Congress in Washington, DC. Most books published in this country are kept there. Millions and millions of books. So crazy. No matter what its size, a library is filled with books and information. The word library comes from the Latin word for book, liber. Before there were books, words were written down on tablets of clay or on scrolls. And later, medieval monks lettered whole books by hand, which took a really long time. Now libraries have printed books. Modern printing presses print thousands of books in just a short time. See, this printing press is making page after page after page, and it forms them all into the books like we know. There are different kinds of libraries, public libraries, and school libraries have books and information about everything you need to know. Other libraries have special collections of books. This one up here, you can see, is a home library. If you have a shelf with lots of books on it or even just a few books, you have a home library. A library right in your very own home. It's pretty amazing. There are all kinds of books in a library. Finding the kind of book you want takes practice. Librarians are organized in different ways. If you are looking for a particular book, you can ask a librarian to help you. So if you came to me and said, Miss G, I really want to read books about outer space, I could take you to the perfect section to find books all about outer space. Or you can use the catalog, a book catalog or a computer. You can look books up on your iPad from the library and see exactly what you would find in the library, but on your iPad. Pretty cool. A book can be read at the library or it can be checked out and taken home. To keep track of who has the books, libraries use either a computer, a library card, or sometimes just your signature. So you can sign for it. When books are returned, they are checked in and placed back on the shelves for other people to read. If a book is not returned on time, or if a book is damaged, the library usually charges the reader a fine. A fine means paying money for the book. We don't wanna do that. We gotta take good care of our books. Librarians are always ready to help you find a good book to read, and they are available to answer questions even over the phone. I answer lots of questions on the phone all the time. People call me about so many library questions. 
Librarians get books and information from lots of sources. They select materials by reading reviews, listening to suggestions, going to meetings, and looking at catalogs. Librarians must follow a budget. Most of the money in a library budget comes from taxes. I am so lucky because I get to pick out all of the books in my library and I love hearing suggestions from you. If there's a book you wanna see in the library, you should tell me and I'll make sure that we have it for you. Sometimes people donate books to the library. Some people donate their time volunteering to help with tasks that keep the library running smoothly. Many libraries have groups called Friends of the Library who assist the library with special projects like raising funds. Have you ever gotten rid of some of your old books that you don't read anymore and you just wonder where you should put them? You can always bring them to me and I would see if they would work to have in our library. Public libraries and school libraries have different sections for different age groups. When you come in my library, we have lots of different sections of books. And it doesn't matter if you're big or small or young or old, books are for everybody. And you can look all around the library to find something good for you to read. Libraries also have special books, services, and equipment for the handicapped. So if you are blind, Let's say you can't see and you are blind and you still want to read a book. We have special books just for blind people that are written in braille so they can still read them. Pretty cool. Libraries will sometimes deliver books to people who cannot get to the library building. In some areas, bookmobiles, which are libraries on wheels, visit people who don't have a library nearby. I would love to have a bookmobile. I'd drive around with all sorts of books in my car and bring them to you when you couldn't come to the library. But besides books, the library contains records and tapes and computers, puzzles and toys, equipment, newspapers and magazines. If you come to my library, you will know that there are lots of different things you can check out. There are um, puzzles you can do and coloring pages. It's awesome. Libraries also have reference books, maps, globes, and so much more. I love globes. I collect globes and I keep so many globes in the library so we can check out our world. They're one of my favorite things. Many activities take place at the library. There may be puppet shows, movies, story hours, summer reading programs, and arts and crafts classes. So many things you can do at the library. Often there are special exhibits. Authors and artists might come to the library to talk about their work. The library is the perfect place to learn about new things, to find the answers to questions, and most importantly, to enjoy the fun of reading. The end. Wow, you guys, we learned so much about the library and so much of what the library holds inside of it. If you have never had a chance to visit me at my library, I promise that the first time you come in here, I will make it super special. And for those of you who have been to my library who are missing it a little bit right now, it misses you right back. The books miss you, I miss you, and this library space is not the same without you. I hope you really enjoyed learning about libraries with me today. Happy National Library! Library Week. Happy National Librarian Day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!